doing this investigation on at the moment? Is he dead or is he alive as far as you're concerned? Both of those factors still play very much a factor in this. I can't confirm one way or the other what it is. However, they are both working lines of inquiry at this time. Do we know what, if he had any links specifically to Mugdock Country Park at all? As I've said in my statement, his car was found there on Tuesday and that is where our search has been, has been progressing. And at this stage, we have no information to suggest that he's left that area. Again, though, I would like to stress that there is no wider risk to the public. Can you see the last... I have no idea where the pet's dog's whereabouts were at that time. How could you... Has it been found? How do we know he's at risk to the public? From the information I've got from the, that we have just now, I can confirm that there's no wider risk to the public. Could you let us know when um, morale was last seen alive? I can't provide that information whilst we've got the ongoing criminal investigation. Were the needs known to police before this incident? As you can appreciate, this is a live murder investigation, as I've provided in my statement, so I can't provide any of that information just now. You say David was last seen on Sunday evening. Was that leaving the house or was that at Mugdock Park? As part of our investigation, the information that we have is we've got a last sighting of him at 8 o'clock. Is there any indication? Where was that last sighting? Where was that last sighting? The last sighting of him was... Um, Near to Mugdock Park is probably the best way I could provide that just now. And as I say, we have no information that would indicate that he has left that area at this time. Is there any indication as to maybe why he's killed it? Did they have an argument beforehand? Or? As I say, this is still very much forms part of a live murder investigation, so that I'm very limited to the information that I can provide to you at this time. Like? Again, that forms part of our ongoing investigation. Do you know when she may have died, whether it was over the weekend or Monday? Or she's like, can you give us any indication as to when she may have died? At this stage, no, I can't. Have you found any items in the park that have been recovered? So, in regards to the murder investigation, I can't provide specific details at this time. What I would like to provide is we found his car at Mugdock Park on Tuesday and that is where we have formed our investigation since. We have no information to suggest that he's left that area. Um, and again, I would just like to stress that and reassure the public that there is no wider concern. Have you spoken to Morel's family? And if so, you know, it may seem like a stupid question, but how are they and how have those conversations been? As you can imagine, this is a very difficult time for Mireille's family and I would ask for her, their privacy to be respected at this time. Um, it's a very difficult and tragic time. Can you give us an indication of the resources that you've deployed across the park and beyond? We're using extensive resources just now. As you can appreciate, Mugdock Park is quite a significant area in itself, so um, there is quite a large police presence at this time. Which car park was it? The car was further much, if you mentioned that. Um, again, that's part of our criminal investigation. What about David's mobile phone? Do you think he has his mobile phone on him or was it found in the car? Um, so, obviously, as part of our investigation, we have a number of lines of inquiry being progressed and that would form part of that.